Hello guys, Kenji here at Life of Clay. Welcome back to my channel and today I will be sculpting Pickett, a bow truckle from the movie Fantastic Beasts. And please don't forget to hit those subscribe and notification bell so you will be notified whenever a new video is uploaded. I used bronze wire for his armature and I started trimming and bending it. He has two uneven length arms, three legs, and two leaves on his head. Bow Truckle is a hand-sized insect-eating, tree-dwelling magical beast with long sharp fingers, with general appearance of bark and twigs which serves well as camouflage in its natural habitat. They are known to be a tree guardian, but when the tree they are guarding is under threat, they become aggressive against the foe. And I tie all the wires together using a sewing yarn. Bow was an old Scottish dialect, means dwelling, and truckle means limb of a tree in old English dialect. This means to take a subordinate position. Adding epoxy resin to bind them together and set aside overnight to cure. I then attach fingers on his hand using a thin bronze wires. Same process is applied in bonding them. And the next day, I cover it with clay. I use Sculpey Original for this project. Rolling a snake of clay, cut it according to the size of each parts and make shallow incision. Wrap to the armature and I did it part by part while blending each seam as I go through. Adding texture on his legs to imitate age roots and knuckles. Adding two tiny balls of clay for his eye bulbous area. Pushing a spoon shaped tool to form his tiny mouth. And embedding two small pre baked polymer balls for his eyes. Brush with alcohol to smooth out. Poke the areas where small roots and stipules are present and adding more knuckles. And let's do the first baking. And now for the leaves, I made an air dry clay mold to add pattern on the underside of the leaf. Cover it with plastic wrap and press gently. With the help of this mold, I don't need to do the underside and focus only on the top veins and texture of the leaf. Now it's ready, let's try fitting it into his head. Well, they are just fine. Set aside this one while making the other leaf. Okay. 
I use the same procedure but this leaf is twisted so I'm twisting it using a brush handle. And after that, it's time to bake them. I add petals of the leaf on his head and along with his fingers. Now the leaves are ready. I drill those poke holes for the stipules and roots, which plastic bristles is what I use for them. Now attaching the leaves. I use two parts epoxy for all the bonding and I also use a small amount of epoxy to add knuckles on his fingers. And now for the painting process, I primer it with a mix of bus yellow and sap green. And for the second coat, I add more yellow to the green to produce bright yellow green for the leaves and also to lighten the green a little bit on his body. To imitate the soiled roots for his legs, I added burnt amber to the green. Painting the eyes with black, and while varnishing it, I sprinkle plastic fibers to imitate those fine hairs around his body. And when the varnish is completely dry, brush away those loose fibers. I darken the legs even more by painting it with burnt amber mixed with burnt shenna. I scrape a brown colored yarn to produce fiber imitating small hairy roots for his legs while brushing them with satin varnish to adhere. I add gloss varnish to his eyes and his knuckles for final touch. And there you go, Picket About Truckle is finally done. It's so exciting to sculpt fantasy creatures, and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial as well. Thank you for watching, have a wonderful day everyone.